You've heard about the church age before, but what do you really know about it? have here to talk about this subject, the subject of the church age, Dr. Ken Johnson. And believe me, he's an expert on the church age and he's written a lot of books about it. Ken, good to have you back good on Prophecy here. Watchers. Uh, Ken has put out a DVD series, This is of which this is number two, and it's called The Church Age. And on the cover it says Zechariah 3, 8, and 9. Hmm, church age, Zechariah 3, 8, and 9. What does that have to do with the church? Zechariah 3, 8, and 9. For heaven's sakes, who ever heard of that? It's actually a cryptic prophecy. Um, in one of the visions that Zechariah saw, uh, he saw Joshua, the branch, mm -hmm. sitting on a throne between two events. And the branch is, uh, one of the words for branch in Hebrew is Nazar. And so mm -hmm. it's actually a cryptic prophecy of Yeshua, Hanazari, or Jesus the Nazarene, the name of the Messiah, uh -huh. sitting between his two comings. And in, while he's sitting between the two comings, there is a seven-sided stone which is sitting in front of him, and there's a very important inscription written on the stone, but it doesn't tell you what the inscription is. But you're supposed to yeah. figure it out. Yeah, and let me read this. This is really, because I, when I watched uh, Ken's uh, video, <clears throat> and again, I got to say about Ken's videos, uh, there, there's no smoke and fire, computer graphics, swelling music, drama, dancers. No, no. It's just all good information that you can use. And I, I was watching, and he's talking about uh, Zechariah 3, 8, and 9. And so I had to read this. Uh, here, it, here it is. Hear now, o, o Joshua the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. And in the King James, that's all caps, B-R-A-N-C-H. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. That sounds like a riddle. It is a riddle. The interesting thing about it is uh, he, he tells you right there that Joshua and his companions are the riddle or are the mystery. We know a lot about Joshua and Zerubbabel, but nothing about the other people mentioned in Scripture. So it's actually what we call an inscription prophecy. You take their names as given in order in Scripture in Zechariah, string them together, it turns out to be a sentence. And this sentence talks about the age of the gospel of grace and begins to describe what this would be. So you have this time between the two comings of the Messiah, him sitting on the throne where there's this age of the gospel of grace that is divided into seven pieces or seven sides. And that's fully explained by John in the book of Revelation, the seven different church ages. And, and I, uh, as I understand it from, from my own Bible studies, an I is the symbol of intelligence or witness or particular facet of knowledge. And you have seven eyes here. And anytime you see seven of anything, it's a complete number. <clears throat> and I think of the eyes, for example, in uh, when Ezekiel ha had an encounter with the Lord, this thing before him had eyes all around it. And when John went to the throne of God, there were cherubs that had eyes all around them. And the idea of an eye, I think, is probably a, uh, a if you will, a rulership or a, uh, a symbol of God's authority in a particular area. Well, here you've got a symbol of <clears throat> a stone with seven eyes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you link that to the seven churches, among other things. But that's an amazing, seldom studied passage of Scripture. 
And I guarantee you that when you look at this DVD and find out how to interpret this riddle, you'll be amazed. I mean, it really has a lot to say to us. And in fact, how would you encapsulate that or synopsize Zechariah 3, 8, and 9? Uh, just that there's supposed to be seven ages in the church age where different things happen and the Messiah comes back at the end of that age. That's the gap uh, given in Daniel chapter 9. And the fact a lot of people say the church age was a complete mystery never mentioned. Well it's mentioned in, in Zechariah in riddle form. Wow. Just so that we know for sure. So you have cracked that particular code, that, that mystery. <clears throat> and believe me when he lays out the names of the people mentioned in Zechariah uh, looks at the at the uh, uh, connections between Joshua's vision and Joshua's riddle and the church itself. It's going to add a lot to what you know about the Bible. It'll make you appreciate the Word, I think, a lot more. Ken, thanks for coming by. Thanks for letting me become. Always a pleasure to talk to Ken Johnson. I'm Gary Stearman. Keep watching, everybody. We are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.